Yo, what is going on guys? It's Kranik and welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Duel. So today I'm going to show you guys some matches for the road to 4.2k. They are pretty exciting and I want you to learn about, uh, for these matches because they are against two rush decks and I want you to learn how I deal with them and I, I'm gonna give you my tips of course I don't know every tips um, but I, I'm gonna show you guys how how I deal with them and what I know what can I do so I hope you enjoy and let's start it so we got into 4k and 4063 it's the the rank that I'm that I'm currently and um uh, yeah this one um yeah yesterday I play against a like two rush decks and two or three UB decks, Ultra Beast decks, yeah, so those two decks are getting pretty common on these days. I don't know if because it's the start of the month, so they are trying fun decks and all of that kind of stuff, but they are scary, the UB decks are very scary and they are annoying, so let's let's see what I'm doing here in this match so my main figure against rush decks is Solgaleo why Solgaleo? because he prevents Zoroark's ability so I, I start with Solgaleo attacking and I hope I always hope to not get the dodge but right now uh, I didn't attack and I used Noibat. Um, so now he uses double chance and I think he gets it. Yeah, he gets it. I got the miss, too bad. And he gets the knockout. So right now I move my Tabu Koko. I didn't use my gold block. And I was in problems there because, you know, I missed from Solgaleo and it was done. So. There you go, there was a dodge from this DOS, that's too bad for me, and I was like, oh my god, I'm not, a, I'm not gonna win this time. So I get the knockout, and then he moves the Gengar over there, and I told myself, nope, I'm gonna knock out the Ghastly, because if I knock out the Tapu Koku, he's gonna activate the... Mega Gengar and I won't be able to move with Solgaleo so that's why I attacked the Ghastly and I get the knockout so that's pretty good for me so right now he activated the Mega Gengar and I was a little bit worried because of that Mega Gengar uh, he didn't knock out my Sabdos and I, I needed to do something, so I enabled my energy plates, my molten energy, and then my wing sphere, because I needed to that mega Gengar, mega Gengar to run out of turns. So I used the wing sphere on Noibat, and and then hope for for the rolls. So there he got the sucker punch too bad for him, but and right now the mega Gengar. Uh, wasn't anymore and I decided to attack the Tapu Koko and he gets the Mela Mela wish yeah and I was a little bit worried there but yeah there was not like a big problem like a Mega Gengar so yeah and then the miss from Solgaleo and I was like Oh god, I knew that was going to happen. Solgaleo misses too much. And I was hoping for a miracle, you know? I had Sapdos, so yeah, he's, he owns Gengar. 
So I attacked double chance and knock, I knock, knocked out the Gengar and he attacked my Tapu Koko and I get the Mellow Milovish. Tapu Koko became the best <laughs> defender in this match. Like oh my god, he was incredibly good. So right now I got another Mellow Milovish and I was like yes, you are the best Tapu Koko. And he gets another Mellow Mellow Wish. So I was safe there. And, and I advanced with Altaria. And hope to to advance and get my way to the to the to the opponent's goal. So right now he got the Destiny one and I got the flamethrower. That's that was too bad for me. And so the two of us get knocked out and I got my Neuburn because of the Molten Energy. Pretty useful by the way, he's a beast the, because of the recent buff he, he got. So right now Tapu Koko is like the best in this match, he was the clutchest Pokemon. And I was a little bit worried, worried here because the sword work prevented me prevented from from attacking the the DOS but I didn't know why the the ability didn't activate like why why it won't activate um, I don't know how I don't know if the ability wor works just once or what, but it didn't activate, so that was pretty good for me. I don't know if it's a bug, but you know, oh no, I don't know. I know it's not a bug. I think the the ability it, it didn't activate because the DOS attacked me on another turn. I don't I don't remember well. But that's why, and I keep trying to to get my goal, my entry point. Sorry, and he gets, and we get the no neutral turns. And my Tapu Koko also got the neutral turns, so it was pretty good for me. But then he got the thirty, and as was like, I was screwed. You know, uh, I was in problems, and. I was hoping for the rolls there. I was close to lose. He got the miss. I got the thunder crash. That was pretty good for me. And then he moves the Sora, and I get the knockout. I think. Yeah, that was perfect. I got the knockout, and I was safe, safe there. And you know. The when the when the rush uh, the like the beginning of the rush fails, rush decks will like they become they have a little a uh, lot of problems in the late game. So I was now in advantage, and I was advancing. I didn't attack the. Sorrow the well yeah the Sorrow arc because of the hundred and eighteen from Sabdos. So right now uh I advance with Neuvern and he didn't knew he didn't remember uh, my wing sphere and he was like he was in problems there. I got the miss that was so unlucky for me and then I did that and I attacked the Sorak and uh, that was kind of a misplay from my part I, wa I played too aggressive there but you know I needed to I, I was like I was tired of this game because I hate playing against rush decks, I have to admit, and they are so annoying and they are, rely on RNG a lot. Like, 
This game re relies on RNG, but playing against against rush decks is is it's insane the RNG that's that's that counts. So right now he's hoping for a bad roll for my part uh, from my part, and then he advances. He he tries to push and get my entries or attack the Altaria and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, that's the strategy of of those decks. If the if the starting rush doesn't work, you you are in problems, and you need to do whatever you have in mind to get the win. Because you know they they have a bad time against Solgaleo and Lunala. So yeah, when if you have problems uh, playing with against rush decks. I recommend you to use Solgaleo or Runala of both of, or both of them. I prefer Solgaleo in this meta because it's like um, I'm gonna say I think the Sable Eyes have uh, have uh, decreased in the in today's meta. So it's a safer option to use Solgaleo. And there are a lot of gold attackers in this in today's meta. So Lunala uh, that's why I prefer using Solgaleo rather than Lunala because of the, the the increase of gold attackers, you know? So right now I was like I got the entry points, I was hoping I was getting the win there, and I try to knock out all the Pokémon that get on my way. And yeah, the, this time of the match, I get every roll. Like RNG became my uh, became part of me, so uh, I get the Mele Mele wish. Tapu Koko only landed Mele Mele wish. In the, in all the match, he failed me just once. That was pretty good from him. So right now I get the hurricane. Pretty good that move. Oh my god, I'm thinking about increasing that move rather than the 120. But you know there, and I get the win. So that was the end of the first match. The first rush deck, and to, and right now I'm gonna to sh I'm gonna show you guys the second match against another rush deck. So I'm not sure if, if it's this one. Hope so. But you know they are pretty scary the rush decks and the UB decks all too. So it's getting. Pretty annoying this this meta. So right now I'm facing uh, Nikita, an N member. So right now I move my Tapu Koko there because I want to prevent the Dio speed rush, and I want I, I didn't want to risk my Solgaleo, but I got unlucky there. And I got the miss. He made it. He used double chance and got the 30. That was pretty good for him. And I was like hoping for Solgaleo not missing or not getting the blue from Tabu Coco. And I got the roll. That was incredible for me. So right now he rushes and I move. Yeah, I attack with Solgaleo, I risked, and but you know, you have to risk sometimes to get uh, the win. So right now, I didn't risk it. I was uh, like, I was safe there. So I move my Altaria, and then I move my Noibat, yeah, and. Yeah, the, I was the the rush the the beginning of the rush failed for this guy, 
and he didn't get, have uh, Mega Gengar, so that was good for me because Mega Gengar is like a pretty good uh, figure with these decks. Like the Mega Gengar Rush is a term that is, has been used for like when he entered the game, so yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so right now he knocks out my Soul Galio and I advance with the Sabdos. So right now he made a good move there. He had hurdle jumps, so I needed to move my my Pokemon to the goal point. I moved then my uh, Sabdos. <coughs> and then I made Max Revive, yeah, with Solgaleo, that's right. So Solgaleo, as I told you at the beginning of the video, he's the best Pokemon to, to deal with Rush decks, Solgaleo and Lumalot. But yeah, so I needed him because, you know, his will is pretty consistent, he lands an attack and not a Roost, a Zapdos and all that kind of stuff. So I like him a lot. And there I was going to get the win, but he max revives the Zoroark and I get he got pretty lucky there. Well it was like 50-50, but he got the gold, I got the purple, too bad for me, and you know <coughs> It's RNG, so I wasn't mad at all, but right now I'm, I was trying to keep push, pushing and advancing. Right now he moved his Mew there to try to make the swap spot uh, in the other turn. So now I attacked the Sorark and we got the two of them, we, we get knocked out. He makes the swap spot and attacks my Noibat. And I think he gets it. No, I, I don't think so. No, he gets it. Yeah, he gets it. So, right now, I'm going to play defensive. I don't want him to, to surround my goal, goal figure. He's trying to get the gold attack against the Parish Sun. That's too... You know, it's Mew, so he survives. He has a lot of survivability. But... The odds are a little bit low. Because I need to get the Parish Sun one, and he needs to get the gold. And you know, my Parish Sun is a little... Well, the... Altaria's Perish Sun is a little bit low, so yeah, the, the odds weren't again uh, weren't for him. But I think he gets it. He, I, I think he got it in in a row. I think I don't know. I'm, I don't remember. But right now I get the miss. He gets the Dutch, and he continues and. I got the flamethrower, that was perfect for me. Mm, right now, I was... I, I had the match there, so you know, the, the important part uh, for the Rust decks is the beginning. The late game is has to be easy, you, you just have to hope for not getting, getting uh, shitty rolls. But yeah, it's the beginning that counts. You have to move, start moving your your figures well, positioning well, and hope for a a attack from Sol Galio and not hope for a dodge from Dio Speed and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you learn from these these two matches. Uh, I've seen that. Uh, Rush decks have been quite annoying, so I wanted to do a video about them, and that was perfect for my road to 4.2k because I faced two of them yesterday, 
So right now I'm going to continue playing uh, and I'm going to show you guys in the, on the next video my matches. Uh, I think, I don't know if I'm going to play uh, while recording or I'm going to be featuring you the, the videos, the duels. Uh, let me know in the comments if you prefer me to play while recording or just show you guys and commenting the, the matches. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Please like, subscribe and share it with your friends guys. Thanks for the support and see you next time.